just listening You have the words of everlasting life Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Lord be with you reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus, the new Elisha, replicates Elisha's 
miracle. He fed more than 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and fish. He was sensitive to their situation and needs. Jesus cares both for our physical and our spiritual needs. He feeds us with his word and the Holy Eucharist that we see. Today Jesus feeds us with his word and with his body and blood in the Eucharist. There are so many important lessons we can learn from today's readings and especially from these miracles. The first is from the compassion and generosity of both Elisha and Jesus for their faults. Compassion moved them to feed their people generously. Compassion is the basis of empathy and sympathy. We need to understand what it means for others to be hungry, what it means for others to be thirsty, to be sick, to be homeless, to be jobless, to be lonely. Without compassion, we will not be able to see what others are going through. Homelessness, lonely, sickness, hunger, thirst, and so forth. We need compassion to be human so that we can connect with our brothers and sisters in need. The second lesson is that God can transform something little into something extraordinary. So we must not doubt God as the disciple of deed. This is because our God is a God of impossibilities. And Jesus tells us, with God all things are possible. And also St. Paul affirms it that he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With Jesus, what may seem to be impossible is possible. From five rocks and two fish, more than five thousand people were filled and they were left over. The third lesson is the generosity of the little boy. He is a hero in Jesus' miracle. He generously offered what he had, and his generosity became the motivation of a great miracle of his community. From two fish and five loaves, the community was blessed with more than 12 baskets of food. This shows that at times God works with what we have. From our little contribution, from our little generosity, God transforms our community. So today do not hesitate in your contribution in making this community of faith what it is. It's rich in faith, it's vibrant and all that life that this parish enjoys is because of every little thing from every one of us. From the generosity of the little boy, the whole community was fed. And so from the generosity of each one of us, we are nourished and fed spiritually that this community of faith continues to grow every day. To be compassionate is to be like Jesus. To be generous is to cooperate with Christ in his ministry. Jesus sought his disciples and the community's cooperation, and the little boy cooperated with what he had. How do you 
comes and will elaborate in Jesus' name. How do you operate in the transformation of these community of believers? The little boy exhibited fraternal spirit and so changed the destiny of his community. You and I can do the same. Now, how do we respond to the needs of the community in times of need? The goods we bear, our talents, our time, knowledge, experience, including our own faith, are values that we must place at the service of others. So it doesn't have to be monetary or material. But all things that we bear, talents, time, knowledge, experience, and our faith, let us put them and place them at the service of others. That would be the best way we can respond to the, we can respond to the needs of our community and enrich the lives of many. A generous and compassionate attitude toward others can enrich the lives of many and our own lives too. When compassion and generosity embrace, great miracles happen for a community united by one faith, one spirit, and one baptism. So finally, my dear friends, through his generosity and compassion, Christ continues to work miracles in our midst. He continues to feed and nourish us physically and spiritually at every Eucharistic celebration, even today. So, with the psalmist, let us praise Jesus. You, have, you open wide your hand, O oh Lord, and grant our desires. Now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God. Thank you. 
James Aarons, Raul Jim Aguilar, Ruth Anthony Reagan, Christina Maria Rivera. We pray for the Lord.
and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Which is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sin we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we are praying.
Lord, your mercy may be for us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your cause of peace, I give you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, Father.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, these divine sacraments, the professional memorial of the passion of their son. Grant to pray that this gift, which he himself gave us to love beyond all terror, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.